The Apple Core Roof Tile object is a 2D symbol which can be used to place 2D roof tiles and battens over a given area for extra information when modelling sections and details. Here we've got a standard roof, so if we view this in section, first of all we want to turn off the roof tile layer. So what we can do is go to the partial structure display and set the model elements to without finishes. So we can now see that same roof but without the roof tiles. We can then get the roof tile object and set the method to rotate a diagonal. That gives us the option to choose the angle when we, when we place the object. We'll stretch that up to the top of the roof. We can see here that the roof battens and tiles have been placed at equal distances across the roof. What we need to do now is set the, f the angle of the first tile, so that can be customised using the hotspot. And we could also set the length of the first tile. The other tiles all use the same length and this can be adjusted using a separate hotspot. Up at the top of the roof, we can see that again there's a separate parameter for the length of this tile. To set the size of the last button, go into the parameters and in the button dimensions there's a separate parameter for the button thickness which is the standard buttons throughout the roof and the final button which is at the moment set slightly larger. So we can adjust this to the same size if needed. There's also a setting for the distance between the buttons. As the dimensions or angles are changed, the other tiles will be updated according to these settings. Back in the object parameters, there's a parameter at the top for the tile type which is by default set to plain. This can also be set to a slate tile, so go back to the section here and those tiles have been updated to slate. In the settings for this type of tile, we can set whether or not the tile starts at the top of the baton, as we can see in the background here, or change it to the centre of the baton. These tiles work in the same way with the adjustable lengths and angles. There are also parameters for the tile thickness the chamfer width when it's set to a slate tile, the appearance of the tiles, batten dimensions and spacing, and a double batten at the beginning of the roof.